One of the key features in Microsoft Teams is being able to record meetings. However, a lot of people lose their recordings. They don't know where they go after the meeting is over. I'll show you how to record a meeting and where those recordings go today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I want to explain to you where your recordings go when you make a recording in Microsoft Teams. I will give you a general answer for this. Some of it has to do with permissions, who has what permissions, whether you invited someone outside of the organization, lots of things like that. But I'll give you a couple of general places that the recordings could show up. The easiest way to explain all this is really to go and create a Teams meeting recording ourselves. So we'll go do that now. The first thing I want to point out here is that you can start a meeting from a couple of different places, and this will be relevant as to where the recording is stored. So that's a hint. First of all, you could start a meeting from within a channel in your team. And if you have any questions about channels within Teams, there's a whole video about that. So you can see up here in the upper right corner, I'll kind of move my picture more to the middle, you can see a meet button and you can choose to meet now or schedule a meeting. The key here is if you choose this option or either of these options, it will default to giving an invitation to everyone that is allowed to be in this channel. So most likely that will be the entire team. Sometimes you might have a private channel and it would just invite those people that had access. This is something that a lot of people don't realize. If you start a meeting from a channel, it invites everyone in the team that has access to that channel. So you might not want to use that one unless you're truly having a team meeting. Where you want to start a meeting if you don't want the entire team included is either from the calendar or from the chat. If you start from the chat, it will automatically invite anyone who is included in that chat. And so you can see that option up here. You can do a video call. If you don't have a chat that has everyone included that you want, then you can go to your calendar. And then here you can either do a meet now and then invite people, or you can use this drop down and create, you could schedule a meeting, a new meeting will do the same thing. Right now, I'm going to do a meet now. Yes, I will be the only one in this meeting, but at least we can get a recording. So we'll do a meet now. And again, this one will just be me because I'm starting from my calendar. You'll see as we get started, I will have the opportunity to invite people. But first it will start, let me move my picture again. It'll start with the screen that I'm sure you're familiar with if you're using Teams. And we can say, join now. From here, since I used the Meet Now button in my calendar, no one else was included. So I could choose to add participants at this point if I wanted to, but right now we'll close this down and again, move my picture. And so now we wanna look at the recording. How do we do this recording? So I can go up here, record and transcribe, and then I can start the recording. So we'll go ahead and do that. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more videos? If so, please click on the subscribe button down below the video. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Now you can see a little pop-up that says the recording has started. Everyone who's in attendance will receive this pop-up. And then up in the upper left, you can see the little red dot about who is recording and the fact that it is recording and how long it's been recording. So that is how to do the recording. Now, when I leave the meeting or end the meeting, if I'm running the meeting, we'll end this. It will automatically stop the recording. You do also have the option to stop the recording in the middle of the meeting, and that's up in the same place where we started the recording. So now, where did this go? Where did this recording disappear to? People look around all over everywhere. They can't find it in their files. They can't find it anywhere. In this case, 
because it was a meeting just with me or one that I started with a few people and I started from Meet Now, this will be in the chat area. So let's go back to chat. And now you can see here, meeting with Jennifer Stewart. And it would say whatever you had called the meeting. If I click on that, now it tells me the details of the meeting. And then here is my recording. And if I click the dots, I have the option to open this in stream. If you're using that with your company, get a link. If I click on the recording, the video automatically comes up in stream online. So this is where your video goes. If you start from chat, it will save it in the chat with the person. If you start it from your calendar or schedule it from your calendar and just invite a few specific people, that will also come to chat. And then if you do start your meeting within a team and it includes the entire team, then that recording will actually be saved right here because everyone in the channel was included in that meeting, they keep it in the channel so that everyone can see it there. Hopefully that helps you better understand where you're starting a meeting, how to record a meeting, and then where that recording goes. If you still feel like you need some more help with this or any other tech challenge, you can schedule a tech stress breakthrough call with me. You can do that by clicking the heart in the monitor that's above me now, or you can go to my website, which is gatewayproductivity.com, and click the Let's Talk button to schedule your time. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.